Well, now, uh, uh, certainly a treat. We've come to the end of the Milking Shorthorn Show. It's time to recognize the champions of this year's show. The junior, the junior champions. We saw them yesterday. Leading the way was the fall yearling, Landsbrook K&H Chili Pepper, exhibited by Peter Vale of Englewood, Florida. Reserve junior champion was the fall calf, Manisha Creek Excite Me EXP, leased by Justin Brandle, owned by Mina Schmidt, Lake Mills, Wisconsin. The intermediate champions were the first and second senior two-year-olds, Heavenly Hush pa Puppy EXP, exhibited by Tyler Endress and Peter Vale, Reedsburg, Wisconsin. And Gary's Christoph Safran, Safran shown by Alan Van Gorder, Glenn McNeil, Graham Rosler, Little Falls, New York. And the just picked senior champions, the winning age cow Mill Creek Lottery Lady Luck, shown by Taylor Graves of Danville, Kentucky, and the winning five-year-old Gin Val Logic Loretta EXP, shown by Corey and Crystal, Kristen Salzal. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a pair of experts selecting the best of the milking shorthorn breed this year. Mr. Brandon Ferry and Mr. Mike Gregory, thank you for your time, for your expertise. It has been so fun to hear you sort through these classes, but we're really excited for your grand champion. So with that, let's go to the colored shavings for selection of grand champion of the International Milking Shorthorn Show. It certainly has been a joy to sort through these, uh, these cows and those heifers yesterday. But uh, before we go out here and we, I recognize your champions today, I got a couple thank yous I'd like to make. First and foremost, I want to thank the breeders, the exhibitors, the people that gave me the chance to be out here. It's truly an honor. I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not somebody that's known in the milking shorthorn industry, so to give, give somebody from a, another breed a shot out here, it, it truly means a lot to me and I greatly appreciate that, that opportunity. And uh, it's greatly appreciated. I'd like to thank the World Dairy Expo staff, everybody from up in the up, upstairs in the offices, all the volunteers. I don't know how many hours they put in, but it's, it's astronomical. The, the amount of work they put in to put this organization together for us as exhibitors. I want to thank the media. I want to thank this guy to my right. Over the last few years, he's become a pretty good friend of mine. We've got to purchase a few cattle together. It was truly an honor to get out here and get to do this with him person that I truly appreciate his view of cattle. Mike, there's very few people that, that uh, I'd, I'd let go buy me one, but this guy over here, uh, if he called me about one and said we needed a buyer, I'd never question it. He, he's got that rare talent to be able to crystal ball cattle that most of us don't have. Mike, it's been an honor. My family, I got a family sitting up there in the stands <clears throat> that have always supported me through this. this. This crazy dream I guess we all have. That's why we're all here. It's a disease. That's what they always say, it's a disease, the dairy industry. My wife Cheyenne, my four children, Briley, Riker, Corbin, and Ledger. <clears throat> we do it together, day in and day out. Shy works her butt off at home while I go to the shows, and our kids help her. For everything you do, Shy, thank you, and I love you.
So with that, like Phil said earlier, let's get this place rocking. Let's go and get out here and pick us a couple champions today. It has been one sensational show. Incredible quality. I don't know how many times Mike and I come to the center of the ring and we looked at each other and went, wow. But at the end of the day, this age cow, she's me and Mike's kind. All three of these cows are me and Mike's kind. Like Mike said earlier, he said, these are the kind I breed. Good uttered cows, dairy strength cows, beautiful foot and legged cows, modern cows. And that age cow exemplifies all that. She's got that gorgeous mammary system. She's got so much width through her muzzle, width through her chest, capacity, spring of openness to her rib structure and travels on a great set of feet and legs. And then that reserve, that five-year-old, a cow that follows that same pattern, that straightness aligns, that hard top, a cow that's clean and refined all the way throughout, and a cow that moves on a beautiful foot and leg as well. And then this intermediate cow, or honorable mention. This cow's reared her scary good. She's gonna get her day out here. I certainly believe that, and I think Mike believes that. But today, these two mature cows are just too much for her. Too much length to their frames. Too much maturity to their frames. But she's, like I said, she certainly wears one amazing good udder. Grand champion on your first prize age cow. Reserve on your first prize five-year-old. And honorable mention on your first prize junior two-year-old. Congratulations to all the exhibitors and thank you. A beautiful show and beautiful champions. Congratulations to the grand champion, Mill Creek Lottery Lady Luck, shown by Taylor Graves of Danville, Kentucky. Reserve grand champion to the five-year-old Gin Val Logic Loretta EXP, shown by Corey and Kristen Salzal, Litchfield, Minnesota. An honorable mention grand champion to the intermediate champion, Heavenly Hush Puppy EXP, shown by Tyler Endress and Peter Vale, Reedsburg, Wisconsin.